Hi, my name is Suresh Singh. I am one of the mentors at Programming Patshala. I am expert on Code Forces and five star on Code Chef. Today we are going to discuss B problem from Kickstart Round H 2022. Okay, so the question says that uh, we are at value zero, right? And we want to reach a given value L, and we have to find out the minimum number of coins that are required to reach from zero to L, right? So, so let's take that. Uh, let's say that we are at I, right? And if we are at a uh, value I, then we have three options. First option is that uh, we can use one coin and we can move to i plus one, right? Just using one coin. The second option is that we can use four coins and using those four coins, we can register this value. We can, res we can register this value, right? And the third option is that we can use two coins and we can take a jump of x where x is the previous registered value, right? If we are registering it now, then it will be i, otherwise it will be having some other value, okay? So let's take an example to understand this. So let's say i is equals to 8. i is equals to 8. And let's say the minimum number of coins that are required to reach 8 is x. Okay, cool. Now what we can do is we can uh, use one coin and we can move to 9 just using one coin, right? Okay, and the second option is that uh, we can register this value. Let's say the previous registered value is zero. We have not registered anything to reach it. So the previous registered value is zero. And so what we can do is we can use four coins to register this here. Uh, now the registered value is eight. Now we can use two coins and we can take a jump of size eight, which will help us reach 16, right? So although we took a jump of eight, it will use only, require only two coins. Okay, all right. Now again at 16, we have uh, same three options. Either we can use one coin and reach to 17 or what we can do is we can register this or what we can say or what we can do is we can use two coins and we can again take a jump of eight, right? And which will help us reach 24 just using two coins, right? And the third option is that we can register this value using four coins. So we can use four coins and we can register. So now the previous registered value will be 16 and if we now use two coins then we can take a jump of 16 and that will help us reach 32 right all right so if uh, the minimum number of coins that are required to reach 8 is x in that case we can say that we can reach 9 in using x plus 1 coins right and then to reach 16 how many coins we will require we can for, we will first require four coins to register so x plus 4 and then plus 2 uh, will be x plus 6 so we can reach 16 using x plus 6 coins if x is the minimum number of coins that are required to reach it, reach a value 6, 8 sorry, right? Cool. So this is what problem says. So and these are the three options that we have. So now we have to find out the minimum number of coins that will be required to reach from 0 to L. Okay. Cool. So can we say that if when we are at 0 then we have only one option and that is to use one coin and reach one, right? And if we just talk about some generic uh, case, let's say we are at i, then we have only three options, right? Now, when we are at i, we can use one coin to reach i plus one, which we have already talked about, right? And we can explore the second possibility, and that is to use four coins, right? And register this i. Then what we can do is we can take a jump of i using two coins. We can take a jump of i, we will reach to two i. Now here also, see, uh, here also we will have same possibilities. We can use one coin to reach 2i plus 1. And again we have two possibilities. Either we can pick, two, uh, we can use two coins and we can move directly to 3i, right? And the second option is that we can register this value and then we can take a jump, right? So for now what we can do is like when we are at this i, we can try to take a jump of i only, right? We can use two coins to take a jump, then we can again use two coins to take a jump of uh, and reach 3i. Then again we can use two coins and we can reach 4i and so on, right? We will be able to uh, reach to the other values, right? Now we can try to implement this uh, approach. So let's say for, uh, let's say we have a function solve and we will be given with some value l, right? And we have to return the number of, uh, minimum number of coins that will be required to reach 11, uh, so this l, right? So first thing what we can do is that uh, we can have a vector uh, in which we will store integers and we can name it as dp and the size of this can be i plus let's say 2 right for now i plus 2 right and we can we can say that dp of i will be 
can be equals to i right because this is the number of coins that we can shortly use to reach i right we can just take a jump of one and we will be able to reach i using i coins right so we can initialize this whole uh, array or a vector using this expression so let's say we have a for loop starting from uh, 0 to smaller than l so so let's have a for loop starting from 0 to l and we can say that uh, dp of i is equals to i right cool now what we can do is we can start uh, calculating answer from 2 right okay so we can say that uh, for i is equals to 1 oh, sorry 2 to l right now we want to calculate the answer the minimum number of coins that are required to get a sum of uh, 2 right to reach this value 2 right okay so it will be generically i but for now the first value will be 2 right Okay, so we can say that if we are at 2, then we must have already calculated the minimum number of uh, coins that are required to uh, reach this 2, right? So in that case, we can say that we can reach i plus 1 using 1 coin. So we can say dp of i plus 1 will be equals to minimum of dp of i plus 1 and dp of i plus 1, right? right? Okay. Now, uh, after this, what we can do is we can register this value i using four coins, right? And then we can use two two coins to iterate over all the multiples of i, right? So let's say the current price, current coins is equals to dp of i. These are the number of uh, coins that are required to reach this value i, right? Now we can use four coins we can use four coins and we can register this value i right and after that we can iterate over all its multiples so for that let's have one more for loop i n t i j is equals to i 2 into i i plus i right and j is smaller than or equals to l and j will increment by i because we want to iterate over the multiples of i right now because we have registered this value so we what we can uh, say is that using two values two coins we can directly jump to the next multiple so in that case dp of j will be equals to minimum of dp of j comma uh, current right and this way we can iterate over all the multiples and okay cool after this uh, okay so after this for loop we will be sure that uh, this uh, array contains all the required value dp of i stores the minimum number of coins that will be required to reach this value i right so in that case what we wanted to find out we wanted to find out the minimum number of coins that are required to get a some uh, get a sum or reach to l right so we can say that the our answer will be dp of l right okay cool now let's talk about the time complexity for this so this for loop will iterate for l number of times right so this iterate uh, this will iterate from 2 to l so l number of times now let's talk about this for loop so for j is equals to 2 it will iterate for n by 2 number of times sorry l by 2 number of times and for j is equals to 3 it will iterate for l by 3 number of times and for j is equal to 4 it will iterate for j l by 4 number of times and so on till l by l number right okay so if we just take l common from this we will get uh, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus so on till 1 by l okay now this is what is what this expression represents so we can say it is integration of 1 by x starting from 2 till l and the integration of 1 by x is log of uh, x so which is in that case we will write it will be l log l right and the maximum value of 10 l is 10 power to 5 in this case so log of 10 power to 5 right and it should get accepted according to the constraints okay all right now like uh, we thought of this solution but to reach this solution there is a whole lot of process which we have skipped just to make this short video very short so we can have uh, a discussion about that either in comment section or we can make a whole video depending on your response in the comment sections right so that's all for this problem and i'll meet you in the new one okay bye
If you found the video helpful, then do like, share and subscribe. And if you are looking to improve your problem solving skills and get 100% interview ready, then take a free trial on ProgrammingParchala.com. Link will be in the description.